Hey guys, welcome back to the Home and Homestead. Today we'll be doing part one of a three-part series of companion planting. We'll be doing two in raised garden beds and one elsewhere on the property. So on the first set of raised garden beds, we have, we'll be planting rhubarb with garlic, leeks, and green onions. So by companion planting, plants complement one another and are beneficial to the life cycle of the other plants that are next to them. So for instance, with rhubarb, garlic, green onions, and leeks, the rhubarbs deter white flies with its scent, and the garlic, leeks, and onions deter leaf beetles, aphids, and weevils from destroying the leaves and stalks of the young rhubarb plant. So these particular plants will help one another out for growing and for deterring things that might be hindering their growth and production. This combination of plants, we also enjoy all of them. We enjoy cooking with them and preserving them, so hopefully this will be a win-win for the plants and for us. In regards to spacing, I'll be using my seeding square. I'll be planting seeds and starter plants. For the seeding square, I'll be using the red and blue circles. So as you can see on the green square in the foreground here, I'll be able to get quite a few plants in these garden boxes. For preparation of the garlic, I soaked them for 12 hours and I separated the cloves out from the clusters and removed the outer skins that were easily able to remove. And I will be staggering the planting of the green onion seeds over the next three to four weeks. That way I'll have an ongoing harvest of the green onions once they become mature. So let's get all of these plants and seeds in the ground. The garlic likes to be four inches deep when planted, so I'll be using the orange depth gauge from the seeding square. And I'll just be kind of using this initially to get my bearings and figure out the spacing, then I'll kind of go from there. So let's get these garlic cloves into the ground. As you'll see on the cloves, they all have a little green sprout starting from them. So that'll be facing up and the other end will be the root system and that'll be facing down when I bury them. So I'm able to get about 10 to 12 garlic cloves on the front edge and I'll get that on the rear as well and about six to eight on the sides. So I'll do a single layer all along each of the raised garden beds and all three of them and I'll see how many I have left. Hopefully I'll be able to get a second layer at least on the sides and maybe a little cluster in the corners. So let me keep planting here. So I was able to get all the garlic planted I went around the perimeter of each raised garden bed and then I did a double row on the outer edges and then in each corner I added just a couple more. So I have about 50 garlic cloves per bed. And now we'll get the rhubarb into the garden beds. I'm hoping to get two plants per raised garden bed like I said before. My in-laws were nice enough to give us some established rhubarb plants from a beautiful rhubarb plot they have on their property. So let me separate these out and try to get six clusters out of these two pots. I was able to get two rhubarb plant clusters in each of the three raised garden beds. These are perennials so hopefully they'll come back year after year and be here for many years to come. I'm really hoping that they enjoy their new home here in these raised beds. We used to have them in the corners of our vegetable garden just past the wood that you can see on frame in the corners there and we wanted to dig them up so that we could get the vegetable gardens planted with something else in those areas and not have to kind of till and cultivate around those perennial plants in our vegetable garden. Next I'll be planting the green onions and leeks. These are from seed. They're the direct sow into the ground. So now these I'll kind of intersperse between the garlic and the rhubarbs. Every few inches I'll place a seed and I'll be staggering the green onion uh, over the next three to four weeks so that I have a continuous harvest as mentioned before. Green onions and leeks can have 16 plants per square foot and they only go about a quarter inch below the soil surface. So maybe what I'll do since the leeks take a bit longer, I'll plant them kind of in the corners and then I'll do the green onions between and to the front and back. We'll see how that looks. First I'll do the leeks. We'll see what grows five to seven in each corner of the raised garden bed. 
So they're right in front or closer to the center than the garlic that I planted into the corners. Now I'll get the green onions in. These can be really tightly spaced as well. So I think I'll do the white Lisbon on the outer boxes because there's more in that package and the Tokyo long whites in the middle. Got about eight across. I'm going to do a second roll. I was able to get about ten in this roll. Now I'll get the Tokyo long white ones in the center raised bed. Now I'll get my watering can and get everything a nice drink. So for this batch of companion planting we have rhubarb, transfer plants, garlic cloves, green onion seeds which I'll stagger planting, and leek seeds. And they all help one another in one way or another in their growth. So let me get everything a nice watering here and we'll move on to the final step for these raised garden beds. All right and here's the final stage for planting. We put some ground cover over the top of all of the raised garden beds. We're using straw here. You want to make sure you use an organic product or something without pesticides in there that may damage your plants or seeds that you have in the ground. And we gave everything a nice watering so that'll help keep moisture in the soil and help keep from birds eating up the seeds that we planted. And I also added a little wire cage around this rhubarb plant because it was really tall and until it perks up and becomes strong and a little larger I'll have that on just to kind of help it stay upright. Well I hope you enjoyed part one of three of this companion planting series. Keep watching and you will see what other combinations I've come up with in both the raised garden bed area and another location on our property. If you're new to the channel please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Take care.